lice. The word alone is enough to make your head itch. And like it or not, all children are at risk of getting lice no matter how good their hygiene is. Let's go to Mayo Clinic to find out the best ways to get rid of head lice if your kids bring the bugs home from school. All right, honey, we have to just check for any nits again. Head lice. Like the nasty bugs invaded Rosemary Person's house after one of her kids brought some home from a birthday party. The eggs look like little ants, but smaller. And boy, do they itch. I kept scratching my head. Plus, they're hard to get rid of, especially if you're like Rosemary, whose four kids all had lice at the same time. First, she smothered their hair with over-the-counter pesticide lotion. Then, the real work began. Spent hours and hours combing out all the knits. Literally that entire week, I think all I did was laundry and comb out hair. And I vacuumed all the rugs, every piece of furniture, every day. You need to do what I call triple vacuuming. <laughs> Dr. Don Davis says lice have survived since antiquity. They're mentioned in the Bible, and they've also been found on the bodies of mummies. Lice have lasted so long because they've been able to adapt and become resistant to treatments. There's a lot of resistance in the community because the louse has outsmarted uh, our pharmacology. So what products should you use? Dr. Davis says the most common treatments are over-the-counter lotion and cream pesticides. But she suggests talking to your doctor because if lice are a big problem in your area, you may want to get a prescription for something stronger. So if your child brings home the bugs, don't panic. With a little hard work and lots of patience, you'll eventually get rid of them. Dr. Davis says you also need to wash all your clothes and put things like stuffed animals in airtight containers for two weeks. That will suffocate the lice. She also says while lice are a nuisance, they do not cause serious health issues. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.